Hey all here, OS Reviews. So we're taking a quick look at the Cheer Pod. This is a really interesting tiny wireless mouse that sells for around 50 bucks, and it also is an air mouse, which means it supports gestures. If you're in the presentation mode, you can use it to click through slides, but when you put it onto a flat surface, it acts as a conventional mouse. But the design here really is super compact. In fact, it really only has space for the two kind of left and right clicks, giving it a really modern look, but in terms of ergonomics and whether it works well, we'll have to find out later on in this video. It is plug and play with any Windows or Mac OS or Chrome OS computers are all supported. Also claims to be a touchpad, laser pointer, all of these functions in one, and also works using Bluetooth to connect wirelessly to your devices. Also with Mac OS, Android smartphones, all of those products are supported. So here's the swiping, scrolling, and again, just a really interesting ultra tiny design. The rechargeable battery will last up to 20 days before you need to charge it up again. It is using Bluetooth 5.0 and for compatibility iOS 13 or later and Android 5 or newer. The first thing that we'll see is this pamphlet. It describes if you're in the ground mode, so you're using it like a mouse like this, versus if you're in the air mouse mode, you have to hold it like that. Aside from the actual cheer pod itself, a quick user guide, and it looks like this has won a Red Dot Design Award along with a charging cable, which is using USB type C. So first impressions here would be that the cheer pod is indeed super compact, but it doesn't feel too flimsy either because the overall construction here for the shell is made out of aluminum alloy. So it is made out of metal and feels pretty reassuring and cold to the touch. But again, for a mouse, this thing is absolutely minuscule. A US quarter you can see as well as even smaller than some of the wireless headphones that you may have lying around. So you'll have no issues at all putting this in a pocket. And then here it is next to kind of a full-sized regular mouse just so you get the idea. Basically, it only has the room for these two click keys. The actual buttons themselves, though, are made out of a polycarbonate plastic, has a pretty decent click and responsiveness so far, it doesn't feel too flimsy or cheap. Simple LED status light, and otherwise we have on the top here, this is where the laser pointer will come out from, power switch. Topmost button here is for the dedicated air mouse slash presentation mode that will deactivate the optical sensor. And then the second mode in between here is for the regular ground mouse mode. To activate the laser pointer, again, all you need to do is press on this middle section of the touchpad and then it will point out like so. Otherwise, there is a LED status light also for power, USB type C there for charging. So as far as using it in the regular mouse mode is concerned, you would basically put your finger like this and you can have it slide around. The motion here for the sliding feels okay. It doesn't really require a large surface area so you can even work on let's say a tray table of a plane or a train and it would still work. With that being said I would definitely not say it's the most ergonomic mouse in the world especially since there is no support for the palm of your hand. Uh, that part is just basically resting on whatever surface that you are touching so maybe if you are kind of using a mouse and you're someone that has to click on things for eight or ten hours a day then this may still not be kind of the best fit. It's more of a travel mouse where if you're tight on space you're using it just for a couple of minutes in between things for presentations. A pretty good connectivity range. I never got it to drop or anything like that as long as you're within the range of around 10 meters or 33 feet. Responsiveness that all works just fine and I can also scroll up and down just by using again the middle portion of the touchpad and those gestures also surprisingly are pretty responsive. If we want to jump into let's say the verge and we just go into here we can also take a look at the pinch to zoom gestures. So if I want to kind of zoom in, zoom out, just by using the touchpad here, you can see that also works just fine. Now in the presentation mode, I just need to press up and down to basically go through the different slides. And uh, I can also swipe on the edge as well to basically go back and forward by one page. Again, working pretty well in terms of the overall responsiveness and the fluidity of just navigating around things. Doesn't really have too many issues there. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the cheer pod. It is definitely a very interesting, quirky little mouse, and I like the fact that it's a bit different, offers this two-in-one utility, has pretty good build quality. I still think that, again, the ergonomics are definitely not going to be perfect, especially for super long periods of usage, but for what it is, if you're looking for just a compact travel companion, one primarily for presentations, it's actually not bad, and a pretty clever design. You can check out more details if you're interested, but for now, it's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.